Welcome back to Sunless Sea. Alright, so what I want to do right now is go to Mangrove College and explore the swamps. And for that, I need a bunch of candles. So let's go grab a bunch of candles from Khan's Glory. It's the friendly teleporting ship. What are you doing here? This isn't the place where I trade, is it? It's the other one, isn't it? I'm not quite sure. Pretty sure it's the other place. Oh, no. No, it's right here. Okay. So, how many candles do I want? I really don't know. Definitely a lot. Again, just like Godfall, I'd, I'd rather have too many than not enough. Let's go with nine... Maybe? I also need a bunch of fuel, is a thing. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna fill up the rest of my hold with fuel, actually. Because 11 isn't even really that much fuel. Alright, that should be fine. I could sell, like, my crate of human souls, for example. Or just even dump it, really. I think I want to keep the crate, though. Because I have a feeling I'm going to end up over near Mount Palmerston. Because I want to go to Gator's Morn to let off my, uh... To let off my shady sort. Who wants to go there anyway. And I also want to go there to sell my firkin of red honey. And while I'm there, I'm probably going to want to refuel at Mount Palmerston for some cheap fuel. And while I'm there, maybe I can give another crate of human souls to the Deviless. So I think I want to keep that. really wouldn't mind some combat to dump some of this terror off. I'm scared. Alright, let's go straight southeast. I don't know why I sent off my Z-Bat. It's not like I'm going to find anything here. I guess I'll dodge around the fog. Save a little bit of terror. Actually, never mind. I'm going straight through it. Okay. It's also going to take supplies. Hopefully I, I don't need to use up supplies like every time I move around, just like I use up one candle probably every time I move. Although even if I do, it should be fine, because I can always just gather supplies. So, let's jump into it. 
Raise your lanterns high. You can leave it any time, but if you get in far enough, you'll generally find something interesting. Alright. Let's go. Narrow waterways and quaggy paths. Marsh lights and mud. Now and then, parasynthetic mosses like shaggy curtains. Now and then, a questing tentacle. Each event will take you further into the swamp. Go deep enough and you'll find something interesting. Am... Amphigator? A thrashing reptile rears from the swamp twice. A head at each end. Ooh, cool. Sure. Succeeded. Gunsmoke and shouting. At last, the amphigators retreat. None of you are hurt. Onwards, into more mist and further mud. Hmm, I'm just looking at leaving. It looks like you don't actually have to expend candles to, like, go back a level, like I did to the Citadel. It looks like if you just leave, you just simply leave. Yeah, so I don't think I need to really count my candles. Well, it says, uh, the further into the swamp you are, the more terror you may gain. Ah, you want to use my mirror's ability, huh? Even though it's like 75 or something, it's still only a 56% chance. A mirror-surfaced pool. The banks are too crowded with mangroves for you to pass. Wade through it cautiously. And I failed. A disappearance. Your zailers wade in, guns held above their heads. Ripples spread, intersect, travel on into darkness. Bats chirp with derision as you pass. All seems quiet. But when you leave the pool, a leech the color of milky jade is clamped, pulsing to your thigh. Its color is shifting rapidly to a rosy pink. Already you feel weaker. Dispatch it. Oh shit, I have a wound. That's the first time I've ever gotten a wound. I don't actually remember how to get rid of them either, and if you, yeah, if you get three, you die. Hmm. They will heal when you rest in your lodgings, and from time to time at Z. Oh, okay. Okay, well, if you die at three wounds, then I don't want to make any risks whatsoever if I get to two wounds. So let's never get to two wounds. <laughs> Except I guess we're about to risk another wound. Ah, oh, succeeded, thank god. Safe passage. Uh, pick your way carefully, very aware of a watchful appetite waiting in the pool. Yep. Why is there... Sometimes there's just weird stuff here that doesn't make any sense to me, like fat white mosquitoes. Like, what is it talking about? And why does it have the picture of a candle next to it? Hmm. Follow gliding lights or ignore the lights? Ignoring the lights seems rather dangerous, but perhaps... Perhaps, if you go off the beaten path, so to speak, you might find better treasure. A knot of seven wisps weaves ahead, beckoning you to follow. Seven is lucky, a Zaylor mutters. Except when it's unlucky seven. That's helpful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Zaylor. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past the wisps to be messing with me, guiding me towards trouble. It looks like if I go with this, I don't, I don't use up any candles. Because the wisps are basically my lights. Yeah, let's use up my own candles. Ignore the lights. Struggling on. Islands, huh? Why can't they be made of water? If they can't be made of water, why does there have to be so much damned mud? Sulfur stirrings. Ew. A shimmering web. Half material strands of blue black light hang between the trees. Something straight out of the realm of dreams to spin this. Its touch drinks life. Find a way around. 
30% chance? Ugh. I'm really worried I'm going to gain, gain another wound if I fail that, and I'm likely to fail it. Let's try it. Oh, I succeeded. A way around. There. A narrow way between the thorn cypresses. Ignore the pendulous bellies of the watch grubs where they hang silent in the branches. Cut a path through the shadows. A soft phosphorescence. No one's orchard. The bark was scarified with marks resembling writing. A lump of flint lay at the base of the tree. Solace fruit. Was a flint a tool, or merely a rock? It was impossible to be certain. The solace fruit, too, which grew on the tree. They are parasitic, and they will grow wherever they choose, but their colors mimicked the bark. Perhaps this was their native tree. Impossible to, impossible to be certain. Huh, also gained an ambiguous elith. I guess that's the flint? Or the rock, whatever it was. Okay, um... I don't remember how much solace fruit is worth, but given how hard it was to actually get in here and just get three, I'm guessing it's probably worth quite a bit. So I'll check that in a minute. Yeah, that's the end of that. Alright, let's check the solace fruit. Oh, it's a curiosity, not even a hold item. Excellent. In smaller quantities, delightful and refreshing. In larger quantities, one of the very nicest ways to die. 150 echoes, that's it? That doesn't even... Like, does that even pay for the candles? Well, it didn't... I don't think it pays for all the candles that I bought, but I guess it probably would barely pay for all the candles that I used. That does not seem worth it. Maybe the value in Solace Fruit is not selling them, but in using them for story events? Yeah, I mean, given that it's worth 150 back in London, I'm not going to sell them. Given that they're a curiosity, I'm just going to hold on to them for some sort of a story event. It's not worth selling. Let me check, though. Let me see if there's some other place that perhaps has a really good price for them. Oh, I didn't spell it right. Okay, you can buy them for 250 at Port Carnelian. Yeah, buy for 250 at Gators Morn, sell them for 50. And that's it. Yep, buy for 250, sell for 50. That's a big difference between the buying and the selling price, isn't it? It seems unusually large. The buying price is way higher than the selling price. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, that wasn't quite as exciting as I thought it'd be. Wading through the mucky swamps, like, yeah, yeah, getting close to something cool, getting close to something cool. Oh, a couple of cherries. Yay. I don't know, they'll probably come in handy later. We'll see. Wait, what am I doing? Story? Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Wait, what? I'm confused. What? Huh? I can leave, but how do I get back to the main place? Hello? What the hell is this? Alright, let me try leaving and coming back. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Alright, how much hold space do I have? Ten spots? Okay. I can I can go back into the swamp. No, I don't think I have enough candles, though. Let's see, should I gather supplies or go beachcombing? I guess gathering supplies would probably be the best thing as far as, like, value goes. Because you seem to get about five supplies for free. 
and I can hold it, but then again, I'm going to need a lot of space for fuel. I feel like going beachcombing. Let's go. Hmm. Something glinting? Just bottle glass. But there's a message in the bottle. A page from a journal. The writer has described a debauched afternoon in thrilling detail. Who threw this in the sea? Was it some botched attempted at blackmail? Or a love affair gone sour? <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. Alright, so I need fuel, good on supplies. Yeah, so, um, I guess I'm just gonna head up to Khan's Heart. Resupply there and then go up to Gator's Morn. Sounds good to me. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really tempted to go back to Mount Palmerston and talk to the Devil-S and see if she wants the creative of human souls because I was look it was it was a while ago, I was looking around for something, I don't remember what. But I was searching around for something on like the the Sunless Sea Wiki or something of the sort. And I think I accidentally found a minor spoiler that I think mentioned that the Devil S can actually become an officer aboard your ship. I think that's what it said. I'm not sure. I didn't read into it because I wasn't I didn't want to spoil stuff like that, but I think it mentioned something about that, so I wouldn't mind talking to her further. Seeing if there's more to her storyline. I just hope I can uh, get her on board without selling my soul to her. God damn, my terror is so high. I don't like it. So I do want to hold on to one candle, because I want to use that for Hunter's Keep. For the dream box of angry snakes and all that stuff. I guess I might as well sell the rest. Yeah, it's selling a cons art. Oh, wait, actually, you, no, never mind. You can't even sell them at cons art. You can only buy them. Well, I gotta go here for fuel anyway. Of course, I could have refueled back there, but yeah, it doesn't matter. It's along the way. Yeah, I'm thinking I can get into some combat with some easy enemies around uh, around Gator's Morn. Because it's kind of a pirate place. There tends to be a lot of pirates. I'm hoping for that. I should reduce my terror by quite a bit. There's usually one or two crappy pirates around that place. Okay, don't need supplies. Do need fuel. How much do I need? I just need enough to get me up there to Mount Palmerston. Yeah, 10, sh 10 should be fine. That'll be fine. Because it feels a lot cheaper at Mount Palmerston. And will this be enough supplies to last me back to London? Six supplies? That's actually not going to be. I guess I'm going to buy more. That should be enough. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, my, my plans keep changing. Hold on. I'm adding more and more stuff aboard my quest. I've got an idea, and it's going to require more supplies. Okay, so I've been meaning to talk to my cook for quite a while, and, and I still have the strange catch that I need to talk to him. But the one thing that I'm missing is muter salt, and you can get the muter salt at Wither. I want to do that, and I'm going to be up near Mount Palmerston anyway, and I should go visit Venderbite anyway, so let's... Yeah, let's go up to Gator's Morn, dump my stuff there, refuel at Mount Palmerston, talk to the Devil S, go east, go to Wither, get the muter salt, talk to my dude, Venderbite, go back down to London. Yeah, let's do that.
I love it when a plan comes together. Boinkage incoming. Boink. I think I bought way too many fuel. Yeah, I didn't need 10 fuel to get to Mount Palmerston. Could have gotten by with probably 5. Alright, so look for, uh, look for pirate ships. Usually amongst the rocks. And I don't really care if I get hit by them, because I'm going to repair my hole anyway when I get back to London. Hello! Alright, let me just charge my guns while they incompetently spin in place. <laughs> get behind it quickly. And we're good. Two fuel, two supplies. And a cask of mushroom wine. What did I do for my terror? Down to 53, nice. It was close to 60 before. Any other pirates who wish to see joust? Or Z joust? Or Z joust. If you want if you want to replace all the S's with Z's. You know, I almost don't want to sell my frickin' of red honey here. Cause again, uh, it's only a twenty-five echo profit margin. Bought it for six hundred, sells for six twenty-five. And I'm thinking maybe something special would happen if I took it back to London. I can't actually sell it at London, like at the shop proper, but maybe there'd be some sort of a shady salesman or something. I don't know. But the thing is, if I take it back to London, there's a risk of it being found. A pretty significant risk of them searching my ship. Yeah, I don't know. Do I have any reason to hold on to the mushroom wine? Not... Really? I don't think any of the places I'm going to visit need it that I can think of. Let me just sell it to save space. Yeah, sell my firkin of red honey, I guess. Wait a minute. Oh, concealed compartment. I forgot about that. Small degree of protection against um, ex excisemen searching your ship for contraband. Concealment plus 20. Wait, what is my current contraband concealment? Plus zero, I guess. Oh wait, that goes to the aft. Do I even have an aft? No, I don't even have an aft. Never mind. Completely irrelevant. I kind of want to take the red honey back to London. It just doesn't seem worth it to sell it here. 25 echo profit margin. That's just, that's not worth it. But it's so dangerous if I take it back. And if they do find it, what would they do? Too dangerous even to be properly illegal. Be cautious in taking it to London. It does say be cautious. But how can I be cautious? I mean, what can I really do to be cautious? I guess a concealed compartment, but I don't have one. I kind of want to risk it just to see what happens, but it doesn't seem worth it. I feel like I should maybe only do that if I have a concealed compartment. Which means I'd have to have a new ship to even bother doing it. I'm just going to sell it. It scares me too much. Okay, what the hell is I doing? Oh yeah, let's dump off the... The woman. Drop off the Shady Sword. She inhales the air and smiles. Perhaps for the first time. As I remember it, she remarks. Less mud. More rum. Wait, what is this? 
Have you been sending stolen ships to Corsair's forest? Hmm. Looks like you can get involved in the illegal something trade. I'm not... Uh, stolen ships. I'm not sure what kind of trade that would be exactly. Or how you'd even get involved in it, but uh, yeah, you can get into some shady business here. Anyway, let's drop you off. At the Winchhead, a deferential fellow in Fustian awaits. Fustian? What? He bows to the shady sort. A pleasure, as ever. You he barely favors with a glance. He presses a heavy purse into your hand. Small coins, stained with salt water. But together they amount to a tidy sum. Yeah, 120 echo, that's not bad. Definitely worth it. I mean, the bad thing is that the Shady Sword takes up hold space. But one hold space for 120 Echo. I think it's worth it. Okay, I know from experience that I should not spend time here if I want, if I want my Zailers to not die by falling off into the Z or something. So I'm not going to explore. Um, could go drinking. But that seems even more likely to result in horrible events happening. Everybody drunk. Not going to gather intelligence. That usually ends very badly, also. Hmm. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I spent an evening at the Errant Limpet. Eh, let's do it. <laughs> I failed. An ugly conclusion. You never learn who said what, but someone ends up pushed out of a window. It's a long drop out there. The Errant Limpet trembles dangerously as the brawl gathers momentum. Doesn't seem too bad. I failed, but I didn't lose any Zaylers. I actually lost one terror, weirdly enough. Oh, we're not done, are we? Oh, yeah, we're not done. Okay. Fights on the moor have a staccato quality. A careless lunge will send you plummeting to your doom. So wait and choose your moment carefully. <laughs> I can release my wretched Mog! Fuck yeah! 90% chance? 57? Yeah, get out of Mog. Its fur is bristling. It's almost sparking. A sound like a dying storm rumbles in its throat. What the hell? You're some sort of... Are you Pikachu or something? A secret weapon. Your Mog's fearless agility gives it a tremendous advantage. It leaps from pirate to pinnacle to pirate, leaving a trail of swiped eyes, bleeding scalps, and multilingual curses. In confusion and terror, the enemy flees. The Mog returns to your shoulder, to lick your ear with a rasping tongue. Its breath smells like weak old cave drought. I really like you, uh, wretched Mog. You are a very good decision. I'm just imagining that scene, my wretched Mog jumping from pirate to pirate in a bar brawl. <laughs> Why did I even take my wretched Mog with me? Who takes their cat with them? I, I don't know, T to a bar. Like, why would you take a cat to a bar? That's weird. I'm glad, but it's kind of weird. Or maybe I've got like a, like a horse whistle, you know, except for my cat. I just whistle it and it comes jumping from the ship. I don't know. I like you though, wretched Mog. You're kind of awesome. Hmm. I can go back there. And this time it doesn't cost money for some reason? Uh. Do I want my something awaits me in port for Mount Palmerston? I do. It's not going to regenerate by the time I get there. Alright, let's hold on to it. Anything else to do here? No, 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 time to go. Once again, there's weirdly snow around an active volcano. See if there's a strong ship around here. Sometimes there is. Mm, nope. You know, I've never actually been back here, have I? Back in this stuff. 
actually want to go back there. I mean, I can get fuel here, so... And I got plenty of supplies, why not? Anyway. Um... Oh, hey, can I not actually go back to talk to the... Devless? Can I not go up there? Or does something not await me in port? Oh, something doesn't await me in port. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh... Well, there's a port report. You know, I should probably actually save the port report for Adam's Way. Isn't that one of the things I can unlock Adam's Way? Is a port report from Mount Palmerston? It's either that or recent news? It wouldn't be a bad idea to save it. I think I actually am going to save it. I'll probably forget at some point when I turn on my port reports, but... Maybe I'll remember. Okay. Let's buy crap tons of fuel. And, uh, while I'm waiting for something waits me in port to come back, let's go explore back here. Then I'll come right back down and go see if I can visit the Devil S. Ooh. 300. I can, I can take you. Does it see me? No. Waiting for my moment. Really want to get behind it. I think it's doing a spin. Should be back here in a second. Is it not doing a full spin? Where did it go? Here we go. Here we go. Slow it down. Turn the lights. Get behind it. If I remember right, these do not have guns behind them. Yes, just stay there. Thank you. You are a terrible pilot. Or captain. I guess pilot probably is more of a plane thing. Boom! <laughs> Three zoop. <laughs> I blew up an entire ship and the only thing I rescued was zoop. Unless it was canned, how did I actually even rescue it? Did I just, like, go into the dining room and found a bunch of tables? That still had Zoop on it? Like I'd interrupted their meal time or something? I don't know. Weird. Anyway, it's done nicely for my terror. Of course, something waits me in port has come back. So I can head back, but I want to keep exploring up here. There's most likely no place to actually dock up here. But uh, hopefully there's some new places just to check out. Dugan's Maw. That doesn't sound pleasant. Let's head back. Should I go through the snow? I mean, the snow's probably coming from the creature, isn't it? The lifeberg or whatever it's called? Let's go see if this is a thing. Nope, not named. Oh, there we go. Finally. Actually unveiled this place. Alright, back to Mount Palmerston. I wonder if I can sell the zoop here. 
I know I can buy it at Mount Palmerston, but I'm not sure if I can sell it. I can sell it for the wonderful sum of zero. Alright, let's go up to the crater. Mm, offer me a cup of tea as before. Uh, this is new, right? Yeah, yeah, this is new. The Deviless Disconsolate. She pours the tea with a shaking hand. Her eyes are distant. The lights. The agonies. The scalding mists of lead. I miss them so. I long to return from exile. I was such a fool. There's no future with a convention. Will you help me? I overhear things. Here at the gate. The convention's plans. Take them back to London for me. The officialdom of hell will show gratitude to me. And I... I will show gratitude to you. Wait, I'm sorry. Take take what back? Take them back to London? Who, who's them? Oh, the plans? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be taking the plans of the convention to the officialdom of hell. Back at London. There's an officialdom of hell at London? Okay. Sure. She hands you an envelope. Unsealed, she points out. I choose to trust you. She's certainly lying. Devils do not trust. Message from the Wistful Deviless. Alright, counters the Deviless quality is now 40. Has asked you to take something back to London. No problem. So, can I read the note? I really want to read the note. Unsealed, but written in one of the more esoteric scripts of hell. Oh, so I can't even read it. Okay. Okay, well, let's just buy, I guess, as much fuel as I can hold, right? Yeah. Which, actually, is not very much, because my hold is full of so much crap. I need to sell these candles back in London, get rid of my clay men, dump the zoop. And I guess I don't need the crate of human souls. Can I sell that here? Nope. Okay, well, that should be enough fuel to get me where I want to go. Let's head to Wither to get the uh, Muter Salt. Suppose we might as well explore a place that I haven't quite fully explored to get there. So let's go along here. Let's go along the bikini-shaped black outline here. See if I can unveil it. Come at me, Mount Nomad. Where are you? I really shouldn't be tempting Mount Nomad. That thing is a badass. I mean, it's a fucking mountain. Ugh, fog. There's a lifeberg. I could probably take it, to be honest, but I don't really want to. I have a feeling it would just, like, freeze my ship in place and I wouldn't be able to move.
take a stop at Codex for a port report. Pretty much along the way. Oh, I'm gonna be a daredevil. I'm going so fast, can I turn the corner? <gasps> turn the wheel! Oh, we're good. Port report on a place where nobody talks to me. That's lovely. Don't want to do Monster Hunter. Prices are crap. Goodbye. There's another lifeberg up there. Alright, let's get some meter salt. This better be worth it. Bandaged cook. Yeah, it's quite expensive. Five Z stories. Thankfully, I have 11. What else can I get? <laughs> Two Tales of Terror for one supply. That is such a terrible deal. These are really, really bad deals. Okay, before I talk to him, let's get a port report and all that stuff. Hmm. Could take some shore leave. The thing is, I never know if shore leave results in anything particularly interesting, or if it's mostly just intended as a way to reduce terror. Because if it's just to reduce terror, then I don't really want to do it, even if my terror is relatively high. But if it can result in interesting story stuff, then it could be worth it. I don't know. What about the House of Questions? What? Oh yeah, gain salt's attention and all that stuff, no thanks. Let's explore. I think I've read this before. Yeah, I think I read that before. My gods of the Z storm's attention quality is now exclamation mark. Excellent. Okay, talk to me. Got your meter salt, got your strange catch. The great work. Your companion barely eats. He has to cut the fish into tiny morsels to squeeze it through the gap in his bandages. <laughs> Soon the cloth is stained with sauce. He throws down his fork. <sighs> Look at me. I'm not at my best, no? Believe me, your appetite would not be so strong if I removed my bandages. How long before my fingers f fail, or my tongue pickles? He swirls his wine. Captain, a request. I've cooked for... Barons and bishops, the Khan, the Empress. But there is one for whom I have not cooked. A creature of singular and acromatic tastes. I want to make him marvel. The chef's art is alchemy, and this would be my philosopher's stone, my immortality. Will you aid me? Bring your chef's strange catches and live specimens to further his research. Ooh. Okay. I'm fascinated. Well, uh, strange catches are a hell of a lot cheaper than live specimens. Live specimens cost 500 echo back at London, where strange catches are like 20 echo at Aram. So I think I'm going to give you strange catches, not live specimens. Although perhaps you need a certain amount of both. Alright, let's see. Hand over a strange catch for his culinary masterpiece. This is a matter of luck. You will need at least two useful ingredients. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind for when I go back to Aram. Also, how many secrets do I have? Eleven. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to them for now. Okay. 
Well, finally got that quest going. I think I've got the quests for all of my officers except the Carnelian Exile. I think I've got them all started or ended. I mean, maybe's rival. Her, her whole quest is done. The one with the weapon is, of course, done. But, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of quests going on. Okay, let's go down to Vendorbite. Oh, hi. Let me just click on this just so I can see if... If an exclamation mark pops up in that bubble or something, that means he's coming for me. It might not even be dangerous. Like, it really might... Oh, almost hit that shore. Um, it might not even want to try to kill me. Alright, I'm good. It seems to be very intent on... On uh, pursuing its job of being a lifeberg. I don't think it even notices me. I don't even know if the damn thing has any eyes. Alright, now I don't have the box of angry dream snakes or anything like that, but I think I have at least one or two things that maybe will satisfy the quest for the colors. Let's see. Vengeance, blah, blah, blah. That's where I got the cook from. I don't want to go there. Let's get a port report. Alright, now let's visit the curator. Okay, yeah, so the hunter's eye satisfies Pelagin. Does it actually say that? Hold on, I want to see the matching between the clue and the actual item. So, hunter's eye and Pelagin. Let's... Uh, depart for a second. Okay. Beyond the gate, there is a sea more sunless. Okay, the gate. And I did get the hunter's eye from... The Avid Horizon, so I guess that's the gate. And what does the actual eye say? Eat the flesh of the deep lurkers and your eyes will change. That's a very vague clue. Really the only connection between the two is just that it mentions a gate. And that's really it. That's a hard one. Anyway, let's give it to him. Oh yeah, my eyeless skull, that's right. I don't want to give over Scully. Yeah, that's the one that I thought probably was for this place, because if you look at the description at the end, it says, Arago Light glimmers in the line of the jaw. And Arago is one of the colors. Yeah, so that one, this item specifically mentions the color. This one does not. The hunter's eye doesn't specifically mention Pelican. Anyway. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you going to give me shit tons of stuff? If you give me 20 supplies, I'm going to be pissed. What'd you give me? Ooh, captivating treasure. The driest of chuckles. My left eye is blind. Should I replace it with this one, it will be no blinder. But perhaps I will see. Within. It raises the hand with the hunter's eye towards its concealed face. No sound is indescribable, but some should be. This is one. Let us not trouble ourselves with its nuances. It's reminders of marsh and gangrene and chrysalid emergence. Take, it says. Its voice is ragged. It gestures at a side table where a spoyer tusk sits. A pearl tiara is perched jauntily atop the tusk. Both, apparently, are yours. Captivating treasure and a hunting trophy. Thank you. Alright, well, I guess I'll give him the tire the uh eyeless skull. I hardly knew you. Another captivating treasure, hell yes. 
a waiting pedestal. At its direction, you place the skull atop a dripstone pedestal, a stalagmite, once, now carved with crockets and grimacing faces. Erigo sparks crawl across it. For a moment, you forget what you were doing. Thank you, the curator whispers. Perhaps you have saved me from the sanatorium. And perhaps the emergence will be less painful. Its chest pulses feebly. You accept a single huge black pearl. The curator's fancies grow worse, but it pays well. Okay, well, I'm making some progress. Um, I've gotten two out of seven colors. Yeah, quite a bit more to do. You know, before I was thinking that perhaps the Sintelac was actually one of the things he wanted. But the more I see the rewards, the more I think that it's probably not. Because Sintelac, you know, even though it's not super easy to get, it does sell for only 70, I think 70 Echo back at London. So if you got, like, a captivating treasure just for giving him one Sintelac or something, that doesn't seem appropriate. So I have a feeling Sintelac is actually not a thing that he wants. It seems too easy. Too lowly. But uh, apparently the box of Angry Dream Snakes is probably another one of those items. Which I will be getting shortly, because I have everything I need for it. Just need to go to... Uh, uh, what's it? Hunter's... Hunter's Keep. As a matter of fact, let's go do that. Don't need supplies. Fuel. Nah, I have enough. Well, actually, I'm about to eat one of my supplies. I'll be down to three. Maybe I could use a little bit of supplies. Ooh, I can actually sell my Foxfire candles for 33 here. That's actually more than they sell for back at London, right? I think they sell for 20 each at London. Yeah. Yeah, 20 Echoes each at London. 33 here. Wow. Okay, well, let's sell all of them except for one, because I need one for uh, the Box of Angry Dream Snakes. Anything else? One supply should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put in a new mascot. And if you change it at Z, apparently it can reduce your, the morale of your people, so I'm going to wait till I stop somewhere. Ooh! Hello, my lovelies. Would you like to reduce my terror? Please come back. Turn around! Now, where did those bats get off to? <sighs> yeah, those are a little bit trickier to kill without taking damage. One supply, one tear, that's fine. Sweet, now it's down to 41. Ooh, something else? I see... Oh, it's a friendly ship. going in circles for no reason, again. The ship is so weird. I swear, it's the same ship. That I, I've seen that ship everywhere. Over the entire Z, it just pops up in random places, and I think it's the exact same ship. Ah, oh, well, the damage from the bats doesn't really matter, because I'm going to repair my hole anyway. Okay. Yeah, got everything to, to do it. Oh, shit. That's right, it takes five supplies. Well, that's a problem. I forgot about that. Okay, well, I was going to do this and then end the episode before I go back to London, because there's probably going to be a bunch of stuff back at London to do. But uh, given that I have to go back to London anyway to get more supplies to do this, I think I'll just end it here. Alright, so this was... This was a really good... Um, I feel like I really accomplished a lot this episode compared to the last one, which was kind of 
aimless and weird. But I feel like I actually did something this time. And let me put a mascot on. Iron plus two, hearts plus one. Let's get the iron. I love you, Wretched Mog. You're awesome. So yeah, last episode was kind of aimless. This one was not. Had a clear goal in mind, accomplished it, everything's gone well. Done a bunch of stuff. Setting a lot of things in motion. Yeah, this feels good. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go back to London, dump off all the stuff that I've been meaning to dump off, uh, buy some supplies, come back here, get the box of Anger Dream Snakes, probably take it back to Vendorbite, and we'll see where to go from there.